All right, Shalom Israel, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Rashak Malaki Washai. That is to say, Yahweh, being named the Heavenly Father, who the world will call God, and Yahweh Shai, being named his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. This is brother Kisadi from W5 Jersey, Philly, and um, it's about 1203 on the East Coast, uh, so called July 4th, Independence Day, supposedly. But um, nevertheless, the brother Yardon from WFI Detroit um, sent us over a, a, a clip or um, this article right here in the group chat. And um, as you can see, we, you know, we don't know if this is 100% true or not, but either way, whether it is or not, the saying in the world is that you want to stay ready so you don't got to get ready. And through the spirit, you should be making sure you're staying ready and you keep watch and you 10 toes down. Right. So reading this, it says I'm a lurker and we'll get straight to the point. This is not a happening one uh, thread. This is 100 percent real. On July 4th or the or 5th, the United States will bomb the Zaporizhia power plant located near the city. And you see that that city right there in southern Ukraine. It says I don't care anymore and will be 100 percent honest with you guys. I'm a Marine Corps infantry veteran who is now working for the United States government in electronic espionage and have been for the last five years. The Ukrainian government and the United States government are working together in order to bomb the Zaporizhia plant and blame the, the nuclear meltdown on Russia, thus giving us immediate authority to use tactical, tactical nuclear warheads on Moscow and those other three cities right there. This will trigger the Russians to throw everything they have back at the U.S. It says thunderstorms are likely in that city right there in Ukraine on the 4th. So that it's like it. So that is the only reason it may be pushed to the 5th. You have 72 hours maximum to prepare for nuclear war. Hopefully 96 if the Russians are slow to respond and will. And we have all been told to stay home and prepare. We have been given $15,000 bonuses um, each to buy survival supplies if necessary. And our offices in Yorkville, Virginia have been closed down permanently. So this is a definite, not a conspiracy theory. Please prepare, guys. I love you all. And I will be happily right. Uh, so like I will happily reply to to any questions you have. So, like I said, we don't know if this is 100 percent true or not. It just says anonymous from this person. Um, but. Either way, right? We want to make sure we're being diligent. We know any any and every year, all hell can break loose. Any and any day, or every any day, I should say, week after week, month after month, as we get closer and closer to the end, all hell can break loose. And it was already reported. I, I made this video the other day, if you didn't check it out, um, that Russia said that they were giving you know, their employees that's over. Because if you don't know about the Zaporizhia power plant, I urge you to go check out the last video I made on it. But you can also just look it up on YouTube. Pretty much what's going on going down is Russia had taken over this power plant that's over in Ukraine. It was only until recently, about a few weeks ago, where really a week ago, where NATO and um this other guy, I forget his name, from from America, but he pretty much said if Russia were to do any if there's any type of nuclear radiation, ready, uh, 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 whether from a, um, a nuclear explosion or a, um, some type of EMP attack, whatever, over to Ukraine, that NATO and all the countries of NATO will immediately go to war against Russia. And it will be a nuclear war immediately. So this is about a week ago. Now, this week, a few days ago, right, or this past week, a few days ago, really, really um, on a Shabbat. Right. I believe it was on a Shabbat. Um, you had Russia and his uh, different employees that's working at the power plant. They were told to evacuate by July 5th and to get out of that power plant in that city, the neighboring city, and go back over to Russia. Or um, I forget the city that they said, but they told him to get out of there. So Russia and so-called Zelensky, um, their president, he's been saying over Ukraine, Salakia, so like, Ukraine's been saying that Russia is going to be um, doing this attack. They're going to blow up the power plant. 
just to pretty much kill Ukrainian uh, citizens and that America needs to hop in this thing and help out fast. Now, Russia has been saying, well, Zelensky, he's actually about to do this. We're just telling our people to get out because we know he's about to do this. Now, this guy that we're reading right here, he's telling us that America and Ukraine will indeed try to do this by the 4th or the 5th, which is today or even tomorrow, by the time you're watching this. Right? Whether it's the 4th, which is today, or the 5th, which is Wednesday. So if this does go down, right, you've been warned. Right? And that's that's all we pretty Fuck much you. trying to do to the spirit. We're trying to warn you. Right? And make sure that you're keeping watch in these last days. This is the book of St. Luke, chapter 2, and I want to give verse 35. It says, Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord. When he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they, mo they may open unto him immediately. That's how we want to be. When Yahweh Shah returns, we want to open up to the Lord immediately. We don't be like, hold on, Lord, give me one minute. I'm still getting ready. I'm still, still ironing out my garment. Or I'm still trying to get my garment on. Still trying to put your damn Mitri on. The one shoe on, the belt buckle is all un undone. Damn, zipper all down. You're trying to pull up the zipper and you're going out the house and you're asking the Lord, wait on you. No, he's, look, he's leaving. I don't need you. Would you want somebody like that? So the point being, when I started this off, they say in the world, you want to stay ready so you don't got to get ready. The only way you could do that is by staying in the spirit. So Lord willing, you keep in watch. Stay in the spirit, Israel. Um, we know it might get real out here. It will get real. So um, just make sure you're being ten toes down with Yahweh Shem Yashai. You're repenting, having a clean heart, clean hands in his walk. Kwame Asherala, Shalom.